We gotta do the best we can, okay? <laughs> the lighting is terrible, by the way. Nice little spray. <laughs> but it's gonna be messed up, I know how I roll. Hey guys, Mako Star here and welcome back to my channel. And um, currently I am uh, basically priming her eyelids using uh, Procacil in the shade to Toffee mixed with Cool Tan. And I'm using this Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm taking Love Letter. I only use two shades to create this look. Um, I mean, well, the transition, which is Love Letter and um, a shade of the Juvia's Place Palette. And I basically built this shade up. I didn't do anything but pack it on, blend it out, pack it on, blend it out. And I stayed in this area on the outer corners, um, bringing it into uh, her inner corners, but mainly stayed on the outside. Um, and I took this little small crease brush. This is a wet by Wet n Wild. And I am basically building up that color. Um, and honestly, this is like the perfect burgundy shade. I freaking love it. Um, and then I'm taking this other brush. This is a, a, a Ruby Kiss, uh, I believe that's a taper brush. And then I'm just basically using that to blend out and then this crease brush to blend it. And now I'm taking this little brown shade by the Juvia's Place palette and using that same brush that I used, the crease brush, to basically blend that out. So we're on to cutting the crease. And um, you guys already know how I do it. Um, I'm honestly not using my traditional uh cut crease brush but honestly i can cut a crease with a uh with some scissors <laughs> with some scissors honey but no <laughs> i am basically cutting her crease using um toffee alone um and then blending that out using a flat uh brush a flat eyeshadow brush by wet and wild as well So moving on, I am setting her cut crease using a tan shade out of that um, Julia's Face palette that I showed you guys earlier. Um, and then I'll be taking a shimmer shade out of that uh, Modern Renaissance, Modern Renaissance, okay, palette, and basically just giving her some sort of glow. I didn't want it to stay matte. I wanted to wanted it to look bold and shimmery. So. So I had did a poll on Instagram um, asking, um, do you guys do liner or no liner? What well, looks like this? And honestly, I was thinking liner because how bold it was. And honestly, that's what they picked. So <laughs> liner it is. And now I'm just blending it out using that burgundy shade as well. And we're on to the lashes. Now that we are done with the uh, eyes, I'm moving on to her face. I'm using Lancome foundation. I'm not sure what shade this is. Uh, but I'll be sure to put it in the description box. Um, but I already primed her face using the, um, I believe that's CoverGirl. That's the Ambitious Matte Primer. And then I am blending this out. Honestly, I really like this foundation. Um, Lancome to me is really full coverage, but if you use a little, it'll give you that medium full coverage while it's still looking natural. Um, and I'm using a real technique brush to blend that out. Now that I've have blended out that con um, foundation, I'm moving on to concealing her face. Now I've mixed 
two, three different um, concealers together. Um, honestly, the two that she had was a little, well, the one that she had was a little too light. So I mixed um, chestnut, toffee, and cool tan. Just a little bit of cool tan, but toffee and chestnut mainly. And so once I blend that out, I take my Real Technique brush to basically ensure that everything is flawlessly blended and everything looks as one. So now that she is set underneath her eyes, I'm moving on to contouring her face using the uh, crown case, the contour edition palette using a dark shade, uh, I think it's called Bricky, and basically carving out those cheeks, honey, her forehead, and underneath her chin. Hey, you know what? period pool so boom we moving on to <laughs> dusting away all that powder and of course i'm using the same palette the composition palette by the crayon case um dusting away all the powder that we set her face with underneath her eyes um and basically all around her face um and then we're moving on to spring and setting her face i'm using the nyx finny matte setting spray and then of course you guys already know how i roll pressing that powder ensuring that she's locked in and nothing is moving throughout the nights we play too much so uh i'm taking a uh, milani blush in the shade uh bury more and basically blushing those shake funny and then i'm highlighting using this highlighter by of course guys already know the composition palette and i'm taking that and basically highlighting those cheeks so this is like my favorite lip combo, well, dark lip combo. Um, I'm not sure what the name of this uh, liner is, like off the top of my head, but I'll be sure to put that in the description box below. And then I'll be taking the Ruby Kiss Lippy in the shade Sipping Wine. And honestly, I freaking love that Lippy. Like I had that for so long. That's the one I'm talking about right here. I love it. Like it, as soon as it mattifies, it's just super bomb. Like it just intensifies it and makes your teeth look super white. <laughs> I want the windows open when I take this after picture. <laughs> 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 video gonna be fire. <laughs> Thank you guys so so much for watching this video. As always, please feel free to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.